I am Ra, and we greet you in the love light of the one, the infinite creator. We are here connected with you to share our insights about what we know and about what the various entities may need to ponder upon at this time space. For therein lies the truth about creation. The creation of all entities and the history of the cosmos lie within it. However, before we start this session, we would like to warn you to only listen to our insights if they resonate and leave behind the rest that does not resonate with your hearts. Today, this instrument seeks to know about an entity who had incarnated on your planet who had a huge impact on the various technological advancements on your planet. This entity known as Nicola was born in your time-space linear time of 1856 as known by many of your kinds. This entity crossed over in the year 1943. In this period of time, what this entity known as Nicola achieved was more remarkable to your kind than any other thing in the history of your humanity. For this entity influenced and created more advancement for the human race than any other entity that you as well as we are aware of at this time-space period. The primary distortions that this entity named Nicola was focused upon was the creation of service to others. Through a free energy device that would have provided free energy throughout the earth had it been implemented properly. The most desired purpose of the mind-body-spirit complex, Nicola, was the freeing of all planetary entities from darkness. Thus, it attempted to give to the planet the infinite energy of the planetary sphere for use in lighting and power. However, just like in many other planets, in your planet also, due to the influence of negatively oriented entities, this fruitful service to others oriented activity was stopped and self-service agenda overshadowed it. This entity had learned how to access the so-called Akashic records by your kind and had achieved many times during its lifetime a state of consciousness that is known as unity consciousness that allows anyone to access these records. However, many entities of your time are not able to reach these higher levels of consciousness due to lack of focus or clarity of mind. The entity called the Nikola Tesla's most important time space was the year 1899 when he set up the so-called Colorado Springs, which acted as an experimental laboratory containing high-voltage radio transmission equipment. This lab contained a tower of 200 feet that had been specifically created by this entity to receive and transmit radio waves and also use it to receive many interdimensional communication that occurred between the various interplanetary species in the cosmos. On the night of the following year of 1900s of your time space, this entity started receiving intelligent signals that appeared as electrical actions. This entity at that time became fascinated due to the unexplainable messages that were being received. Even though he was learned in the so-called sciences of that time, this phenomena was compared as supernatural by this entity. These were the first times this entity started receiving intelligent communication from other parts of the galaxy. Later, this entity learned how to reply to these communications and learned how to send massive amounts of energy to outer space and other planets. The one known as Nicola received information from Confederation sources desirous of aiding this extremely, shall we say, angelically positive entity in bettering the existence of its fellow mind-body-spirit complexes. It is unfortunate, shall we say, that like many wanderers, the vibratory distortions of third-density illusion caused this entity to become extremely distorted in its perceptions of its fellow mind-body-spirit complexes so that its mission was hindered and in the result, 
perverted from its purposes. This entity at that time had started to receive vocal messages that your kind calls the vibratory sound complexes from other species in the galaxy. However, in the beginning he had no idea that these messages were sent in order to help him understand more the nature of the cosmos. This entity had been seeking to learn about the advanced technology that he had been developing and during his sleep states would open up communication portals that would allow the higher beings to transfer such answers to his queries. An instrument that this entity had designed, known to your kind as Tesla Scope, was primarily designed to communicate with other density beings, including with those of the Confederation of Planets, of which we are also a part. This device takes in cosmic ray signals and eventually the signals are stepped down into audio format. If one entity speaks into one end of this device, this signal goes out to the other end as cosmic ray emitter. These communications were able to assist this entity to glean a substantial amount of good information from these transmissions, which had an enormous impact on his research and inventions for the remaining lifespan of this entity. This entity then started to perform many of its research towards the invention and creation of free energy, beam weapons, wireless power transmission, anti-gravity devices, anti-war shields, etc. At this point, the other entities of that time space began to be calling Tesla as a so-called mad scientist. However, they failed to recognize the significance of the inventions that this entity was creating. This entity during its younger days had noticed that he had peculiar abilities due to which many images would appear before it. Often these images would be accompanied by strong flashes of light. These images were so strong that they would sometimes even replace the real world that he would be seeing from his third density eyes. These images used to appear during this entity's sleep state. In a much similar manner as your dreams, this entity was able to create images and designs of new inventions that it was working on, or would have flashes of new technology in its dream state, during which time this entity would enter into the astral planes and learn and experiment with these new devices, and try several things during its dream state. He soon discovered that he would learn more and more if he allowed these images to come fully and accept them and go further into these visions that allowed him to get new impressions all of the time. And so he began to astral project in his mind every night and sometimes even during his daytime or waking state. This entity would start his journeys, see new places, cities and countries. It would live there, meet people, and make friendships and acquaintances, all in his astral projected creations. In this way, this entity was able to rapidly develop and perfect his inventions in his mind-made astral projected state. This entity's origins are from the planet Venus, in fact from the same planet as we are from. This entity having learned the lessons of service to others and that of love to a sufficient degree is now a part of a social memory complex and is part of the collective in Venus. He is now a part of this memory complex. This entity's main purpose on coming to your planet was to allow your kind to avail the technologies of free energy and the other inventions that he made during that time. In the year 1856, this entity chose to incarnate on a mission to aid Earth, and it voluntarily accepted this mission to aid humanity and allow them more progress that would assist your kind in the coming ascension period after some time. It can be said that he is one of our Ra collective and received many communications from the planet Venus and the Confederation when he would seek help from during its troubling times. This entity's soul chose the entities named as Reverend, Milutin and Dijoka Tesla as its parents in order to provide it the necessary opportunities to complete its mission on Earth. Therefore, my friends, go forth rejoicing in the power and in the peace of the one infinite creator 
We leave you now, Adonai.